Okay, <clears throat> let's continue with our next part. That is um, the next part of our exam system. And to start with, we shall go to exams uh, table here. Then we add average. For example, I need to add average for maths. So I can just go to math average, then English average. Then we shall have the others. Average, we shall have uh, science average. And also we shall have uh, the KISO average. One, two, three, four, five. Those are the subjects we have. ICT, ICT av average. And also we shall have uh, a sign language average that way. Then here shall have a calculated field. So I just go to a uh, calculated field there. Then I just go to uh, this point. I open the bracket. Then in between the bracket, I open math one. So it will be math one plus the next one is math two. This is math two. Math 2 plus math 3. Then I cross the bracket, divide by 3. Okay, so after having this one, this one will uh, make sure that uh, your three subjects are inclusive and divided by 3. So I go, I do the same to English average. So I go to calculated field. Then I open the bracket and then I just go to this point. I have English 1 plus English 3 plus English 2. Cross the bracket divided by 3. Then you click on OK. So you continue doing that one uh, until you go to the, to the next one. The next one is... Uh, the next one is... Um, uh, that is social studies. So I open the bracket. Once I open the bracket like that, I then uh, go to where the where social studies is. So I just go to where social studies is. Here we are. So social study one plus social study two plus social study three. Cross the bracket divided by three. Divided by three. That is the average uh, of uh, the subjects. Then. Uh, if I may use the, those three, one, two, three here, then I just click on mathematics, then go to uh, this point here. Mm -hmm. mm. Let me just uh, go to this point here, and uh, first of all, save that, so I can cross that one. Then just go to uh, this part. Mm -hmm. uh, this part here, like for example, I just go to math here, this is math one. Decimal process you set to zero and choose fixed here yeah, to avoid a situation whereby you have so many decimal places. If, for example, I may demonstrate that one. If I scroll here, if I scroll here, you notice that there we can have this. You see, English it has so many decimal places, uh, but in mathematics, if we just uh, do something on mathematics, if I I key in some figures in mathematics, math 1, math 2, math 3. Here, if, for example, I key in, you notice that there is a difference. There is a difference between that one. This one can be 56. Uh, those ones were the figures I entered in my neck in my last video when I was showing you how to, uh, that is how to validate. So, guys, if you look at this one, if you look at this one now, you see now this one there is a lot of decimal places, but in mathematics it is zero. You see in mathematics it's zero, but this one there is a lot of decimal places. So I go back to English, then uh, do the same, set this one to zero, set this one to fixed. Do the same to social studies, decimals zero, uh, format you put to fixed. Then after doing that one, now you'll notice that uh, the decimal places are gone. You see now, Max, uh, we are in good position there.
there are no there are no uh, decimal places so after having done that one you need to include those fields the average fields in the query remember our query is uh, class filters so i go back i open class filters in design view then i just scroll all the way then after doing that i need to bring i need to bring these fields that is mathematics average english average social studies average science average uh, you bring them uh, in the query so i have now added them to my query then the next step now is again to okay i have saved that it is to add them in the form so i open my form in design view once i open my form in design view that way i go and extend this so i pull the grades to somewhere there now in this point i need to include average so i will have my average included here so i go to format and uh, assign it i assign it um, i assign it a, a darker color then i go to design i go to add existing fields and then i can just pull this a bit i need to go now you see my fields are available so i add my maths average and english i use those two then later on probably uh, off the camera i can do the rest once i take you through these two you'll be in a position to do the rest without struggle so i press my english average uh, and my mathematics average there then the next step now is to uh, okay sorry for that i wanted to save the next step now is to code in that i include in my codes that this buttons also are not visible just like we did in our video number two or number three so i just go to design view i go to where the code in view code so uh, remember when the form is loading you should not see the we should not see the average uh, text box and the next one so ink up uh, dot visible equals to false then math average dot visible equals to false now that one uh we make sure that um so after doing that one you can copy this two after sorry after doing that uh when if i go back to this form of mine uh you'll notice that when i when I choose a class like 2022, uh, form one, then form one Uganda, term one, you'll notice that um, nothing is being displayed, not even the average. So that's what I wanted. But when you click on this one, when you click on English, I need the English average button to appear. So I go to this back to design view, view code. So I go to where English is english here then i include that code but uh, this one this time around this one is uh, this one is false this is false but this one is true for the english should be true then i go to mathematics i do the same i paste them but this time around math average will be true that's what exactly i needed to do so for the other subjects you do the same you make sure that where, where the subject is like mathematics but the others are false only mathematics average is true just like we did uh, to the others so guys after doing that one we need now to go and key in the 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 that is the you see now when you click this one you notice that the english average is uh, dis, uh, appearing so guys we need to go and code for the grading i will introduce case select for example we start with the english go to click the english average go to properties then event on roster focus event on roster focus event hit the three dots then this is where our our 
uh, that is case select comes comes in so it shall have select case uh, that is select case case in gav in gav that is english average then case case uh, is greater than 8 therefore if case is greater than 8 then the, the english grade is grade 2 so g2 uh, g2 uh, equals to text so you quote so we can just have excellent uh, that is excellent or we can just have distinction uh, distin distinction 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 then um, if case if let's say if case uh, that is case 70 to 80 then g2 can just copy this and just copy this to avoid a mm, match typing so this one should be distinction one that's such sort of distinction two this one should be distinction one then we carry on a uh, case let's say 60 to 69 then we paste that one this guy here we shall have a credit credit one then case 50 to 59 uh, g2 will be credit 2 uh, let's say credit credit 2 then from there we shall have case uh, let's say 35 to 49 then this one is shall be half this uh, that is uh, pass let's say this guy will have a pass then from there uh, we have uh, case else case else this guy that is g2 will be supplementary or just retake retake this guy will have a retake so guys after doing this one we shall do exactly the same for mathematics only that this one will be g2 uh, g1 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 so we can just copy this code exactly as it is sorry we have to have to end select therefore end select then you i copy this i copy that code so i just go to save go back to the code then this time round can just pull this apart i am now coding for mathematics average so i go to event on roster focus uh, uh, then you go to this one hit the three dots then paste that one but this time round we needed to change this one becomes now math average then this one becomes g1 therefore this becomes this becomes g1 this becomes g1 this becomes g1 this becomes g1 this becomes g1, this becomes g1. there we are then after now doing that one we can test our system whether it is it will be in a position to give us the the grades so we just go back to this one uh this for these grades here um you can just uh, enlarge them like that then do make sure this one goes up return it there so we run our system therefore, therefore we first of all check which term we are we are in term 2 2022 guys this one is very important for filtering so i go to filter I change this one to term two hit enter max you see now the the student data comes up then from here uh, we need to do uh, this max the missing max so we can just do the missing max the missing yeah, missing max this is 50 63 85 then you need to tab this max you need to tab so that they can get inside the, the system there we are. so guys uh, you see for yourself that um, the average is being used uh, the average is being used to give so the first guy has distinction two 
is credit to distinction to distinction one such but remember guys you have to validate you see now you have to validate the you have to validate the max you have to validate the the max so that um, uh, you cannot be in a position to mess up with the entries so for this one um, for this one you need to you see now the system is detecting that there is some erroneous max entry uh, just like I had taken you through the other one so after doing that one okay so you see now uh, this one is nice uh, on the other hand uh, on the other hand here uh, we, if we go to mathematics if you go to mathematics you see there are no grades so I can just feed the the marks here uh -huh. so now it's working 45 let's say 40 uh -huh. 62 credit one then uh, that one that one you see now the system is working but for this one you have to tab huh? since there was no uh, function so you can see uh, this one is working so what you need you need to go back to uh, this the, the system here again that is the exams first of all we save and cross this one and if you go to exams table inside the exams table you will notice that um, the grades grade 1 for mathematics grade 2 has been recorded also the average for English and average for that in mathematics and English has been recorded so the remaining bit is for you to go back to uh, this point here and assign science as calculated field Kiswahili ICT and sign language the way I have taken you through this procedure here of subject 1 plus subject 2 plus subject 3 divided by uh, by 3 uh, then after doing that one you'll be in a position now to uh, you'll be in a position now to do all your your uh, computation you have you see i have really utilized the power of case select this one is case select and it's very powerful in terms of uh, how to assign grades so guys remember to subscribe remember to share these files to your friends and also remember to come back and check what i have uh, i have for you guys in my next video i will be doing merit sheets and report forms and our next video will be the final video on this microsoft access and vba uh, examination system thank you very much